In this video, we will see how to create queues and hours of operation. In order to create queues, go to routing and click queues. Now here you should see all the queues within this Amazon Connect instance. At the moment, there is only one queue called the basic queue, which got created automatically when this Amazon Connect instance was set up. Now let's create three new queues for our busy ping broadband services, which will be sales, customer service and technical support. So I'll click add new queue. Type the name of the queue as sales queue. And I'll give it a short description. Then you need to specify the hours of operation, which defines during which time this queue will be available. For example, you may want your technical support to be available 24 hours a day and seven days a week, while you may choose to have your sales and customer service to be open only from Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So you need to specify that here. In order to do that, click this drop down, and you will see basic hours here, which got created automatically when this Amazon Connect instance was set up. But we want to create our own hours of operation. In order to do that, go to routing and I'll right click hours of operation and open it in a new tab. Here you can see basic hours of operation and the description says always open hours, which essentially means 24 seven. So let's create an hours of operation for Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I'll click add new hours and give the name as business hours. And I'll give it a description. Then select the time zone. And here you can see by default, it has filled in Sunday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. That is all the seven days, but I don't want Saturday and Sunday. So I will simply select them and click remove. All right, now it looks good. So I'll go ahead and click save. Then click cancel and I'll be back to the list of hours of operations. Next, we need an hours of operation for 24 hours a day and seven days a week, but we already have this basic hours, which is always open. So we don't have to create another one, but let's go ahead and rename this to something more descriptive. I'll click on basic hours and I'll change the name to always open. And in the description, I'll give 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Then you can see the time zone is set to New York. It really doesn't matter because it's 12 a.m. to 12 a.m., which means it's 24 bar seven. But I would still like to change it to make sure that the time zone matches with the country where the business is located. So I will set it to Auckland. Click save. And cancel. Now we have one hours of operation for weekdays and one for 24 bar seven. So I'll go ahead and close this tab and we are back to our queue creation page. The sales queue is going to be available only during weekdays, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So I'll click the hours of operation drop down, and I see the two new entries have come up. I'll go ahead and select business hours. Next, we have these three options related to outbound calling. So a queue is not just for inbound calls. All calls that go out from Amazon Connect should be associated with a queue. Another use for outbound queue is to automate outbound calling. For example, you can build a contact flow to call your customers who have requested a callback where Amazon Connect will automatically call those customers and connect them to an available agent. For that purpose, you need to specify what the outbound caller ID name and number that will be displayed on the customer's phone. The caller ID name doesn't always work, unfortunately, and that's not because of Amazon Connect. It is primarily because many of the telecom providers around the world ignore this piece of information. But I'll still go ahead and enter the outbound caller ID name as Busy Pink Sales. And for the outbound caller ID number, I need to select one of the phone numbers that I have here. And for now, I only have one phone number, so I'll select that. Next, we have the outbound whisper flow. A whisper flow is basically a sequence of actions that will take place just before the call gets connected. For example, you may want to play a message to your customer like, hello, this is a call back from Busy Ping Broadband Services. You're being connected to an agent and your call is being recorded. So you may want to play a message like this and right after that, start the call recording. So all these sequence of actions like playing the message, starting the call recording, etc., should be configured as part of the outbound whisper flow. You need to create this whisper flow using the contact flow designer so that it'll show up when you click this drop down. 
At the moment, there is a default outbound flow which got created when we set up this Amazon Connect instance. We will discuss about contact flows in details in the upcoming videos. For now, we will just leave it since it is optional. Next, you have the option to set the maximum number of contacts in queue. So let's say if you don't want more than five customers waiting in this queue, you can click set a limit and enter five here. Then when you create the contact flow, you will have the option to define what will happen if this limit exceeds. For example, you can play a message like, sorry, there is a long wait at the moment. Please call back later or press one to receive a call back. I'm not going to set a limit at the moment, so I will uncheck that. Then you have Quick Connects, which basically lets your agent to quickly transfer the call to another agent or another queue or an external number. We'll discuss about Quick Connects in detail in the later videos. For now, I'm going to leave it as it is optional and click Add New Queue. And you can see the sales queue is created. Next, let's create the queues for customer service and technical support. I'll click Add New Queue, give the name as Customer Service Queue and I'll give it a description. I'll select the hours of operations as business hours, then outbound caller ID name, the number, and I'll leave rest of the options as blank and click add new queue. Similarly, let's create technical support queue. For this queue, we will use always open as the hours of operations as I want my technical support to be available 24 by 7. Then I'll enter the outbound caller ID name and number. I'll leave the rest of the options blank and click add new queue. All right, so we have created three new queues. In the next video, we will discuss about routing profiles.